Welcome back to Amy Lynn Creative. In this video, I am sharing how I make my collaged images on WordPress look really pretty, and that is accomplished with Blogstomp. Blogstomp is a really fantastic little software. It is a one-time purchase. It is just $49. Now, you do have to pay for like major updates. I think I've only ever had to do that once when Apple changed something in an update that required Blogstomp to make some really big changes, and so there was an upgrade fee there. Anyway, it's a really great value. I absolutely love it. It's simple to use. Um, so I'm going to show you how I made these images. So here's a blog post. It's a I use Show It for my website, but the actual blog posting is done in WordPress, and I have other videos about that as well. And you can see these images are nicely collaged. Now, if you went into WordPress and tried to collage these images, you would be really, really sad. Um, it does not work well. It, WordPress is just not designed for that. If you hover over, you can see that these two images are actually just one image, and that is because I used Blogstomp to combine them before I added them to my blog post. So I am going to take you into Blogstomp here. I have my images over here and I have my stomp software, pardon my messy desktop. This is what blog stomp looks like when you open it up. If I go over here, so there's a bunch of menu options up here. If I go to batch, for instance, there's some other options. I usually use the freestyle section um, for everything. There's also an option to automatically connect Blogstomp to your WordPress blog, and I don't do that. I just save the images on my computer and then upload them later. Again, that is your preference. However, I have chosen not to show you that at this time. Um, and this is what I'm talking about here. It is compatible with WordPress. Now, if we go to settings, this is where we get into the important stuff. I have all these templates in here. And white border is the one that I typically use. Um, this does not set the shape. We're just setting the border color. So the white border here, um, it says there's a red outer stroke, but you can tell I have it set to zero because I don't want a stroke of any kind. I just want a white border. I want the longest edge at 1421 because that seems to work well. Um, that's pixels, by the way. Um, so you can set that to whatever you need. For instance, if you want to compress a photo to a certain size, um, let's see, there's a Facebook one here, but there's also, like this one, I needed an image to be a certain size, so I created this template here with a certain width. I'm going to go back to freestyle, and I'm going to start stomping images. Um, one thing to note, I am using Blogstomp 3, um, specifically Blogstomp 3.72, which I believe is the most current edition. So, really simple to pull your images in here. I'm just going to select these, drag them over to this panel here, and voila, here they are. And then I'm going to start clicking these, and you can see they preview on the right. I'm clicking individual images right now. Now, I'm going to make this a little bigger here. All right, now I'm ready to stop my images, and I'm going to start looking for images that look nice together. Um, now, if I select three images all at once, you can see it automatically puts it into a little collage. I don't like how these are laid out, and I don't want this image in here. So, or actually, let's do this. I want these two. Now, I don't love how these look. What I'm actually going to do is this. So, basically, nothing's permanent until you hit stomp it down here. If you click mix it up, it'll space out the images, or you can double click an image and swap it. Uh, so I'm swapping these, and then on the right hand side you can see we have some options. You can go vertical with it. Um, now let's say we also wanted to add in, this is kind of a bad example, let's go down here. Let's say we have this image and this image, but really I want this image up here. You can drag these around, so I can drag this up here, I can drag this up here, and now I can start. Um, the other thing you can do is click the space bar, and it will swap images. 
So I'm clicking the space bar and it is moving my images around. And then with this little button here, you can adjust the zoom. I rarely, if ever, use this option. Then I have other options to the right, and you can see now that there are more images, there are a lot more options. Now with horizontal and vertical images, they really change the look. So if I move this one over here, all of a sudden it changes the collage completely to fit the size of the image. Um, let's say that I really love how this looks, so I'm going to click Stomp It, and those images are going to be removed from my options. So now let's do this. Love it, but let's do something like this. Stomp it. And the images just magically vanish. And for sake of time, I will do this, but I'll move this one over here. Again, you can click the space bar and it'll move it one image at a time. There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna click Stomp It. All of my images are gone. Now here's the nifty part. If you close out of the program, so I'm using the keyboard shortcut Command Q, because I am on a Mac, it will bring up a folder called Stomped, and you can find your stomped images, and then I usually move them to a folder um, for safekeeping. And there are your stomped images, and then um, you can put them into your blog post. Now, this isn't just for blog posts. I also use these on my website on occasion when I want a collage instead of just one image. Um, this can work well for Squarespace because Squarespace does not do a good job of giving you options for images. You can organize images in Blogstomp first and then pull them into your Squarespace website. So there's a lot of different applications for Blogstomp, and this is just the tip of the iceberg, but I just wanted to share because the WordPress problem is the question I hear the most often. So I hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and come follow me on Instagram at amylyncreative underscore for photogs so that we can chat photography.